All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. How are all my adventures doing? Welcome back to some more Grand Fantasia playthrough. We're currently level 54, so yeah, we've been having that going for us. <laughs> but um, I've been busy. I haven't really touched the game in a while now. Been doing a lot of stuff. Uh, okay, we can't do this right now. Great. Let's activate this. So I'm back to trying to get my sprite done. Um, after playing um, Astral Tale, there's, I have a few things to talk about today. Uh, is the mission inside of here? Just right. Yeah, okay, we're good. Alright, let me get adjusted now. But anyway, after playing Astral Tales, I have a few things to talk about. It's, it's kind of like how I see the state of the game right now. Man. Versus. <laughs> after playing Astral Tales versus, like, Astral Tales, man, this game is definitely not friendly when it comes to starting up. Here's the thing. Newer X Legend titles have like icons and everything to show players where things are, what NPCs do. Like, for example, Eden Eternal actually shows you what a uh, formula, what character has like formulas and stuff like that. You know, simple stuff. Gravitation, on the other hand, does not do that. It's one of those games to where you have to, like, you know, talk to every last NPC. And for the love of... Huh? Oh. 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 <laughs> um. Plus, there's a lot of things that like that that still happens as well. That's... That's always, you know, a thing. Yeah. You'll never find too little of that. <laughs> but anywho. Gravitation is like very hard to get into. It's always has been. It is just so weird to me that they've never like, you know, gone back to fix it. But then I thought about it. It's like Gravitage is also still on an older system to where maybe a lot of new developers don't really know how to get behind it. Which is kind of one reason why I wish they would, you know, either remake it on a better system. But at the same time, I talked about this in the uh, Astro Tale video, I feel like they would fuck it up. Because you guys got to remember that, um, there is a certain thing that exists out of this <laughs> that I don't think a lot of people remember that it exists is Sprite Fantasia. Which, weirdly enough, they said was a sequel to Grand Fantasia. And it's still on uh, Steam to this day. I don't know if it's still on... Um, I was wondering who, who the hell is aggroed on to me, but it's still on um, Steam. I don't know if it's on Google Play. That game did not go too well. <laughs> I will say that, and it it kind of proves that if if they were to remake Gravitation, they wouldn't be able to do it right. Because I looked at the classes and everything, it's just like okay, so. Sage is no longer, you know, a druid class. I looked at that and I was sitting here like, why are we changing that? Why is Sage no longer a druid? Why is it just like 
a a very hard hitting cleric with nature damage. You you would be losing out on a, on a lot. And plus, they also did it in the same art style that they tried to do. Um, what was it? War King, Aurora Kingdom. I guess I can't turn this off. There we go. And as soon as I saw that they did it in the same, the same uh, art style as a war kingdom, I was sitting here like, okay, so it wouldn't have the charm of Grand Fantasia anymore if they actually did redo the game again and actually did it right. So I'm pretty sure, since they said that's the sequel of Grand Fantasia, that there is no chance in hell that they're remaking Grand Fantasia itself. And the number one thing I've always seen people complain about when it comes to Grand Fantasia or any X Legend game is the um, the movement. The movement has always been set up weirdly. Not gonna lie. For Grand Fantasia, it's just something you're gonna have to get used to. That's never gonna change. Like personally, I like I have told um, one of my commenters on that video is it, the only game I've seen them get remotely decent for movement was a uh, Dragon Ball Hunter, and that's only because Dragon Ball Hunter had like an action control to where you can just you know play it like it's an action RPG. You can set up a controller and stuff like that. Is that all of them that I said? I think so. Okay. So honestly, at this point, I, I don't want a remake. Because <laughs> I know it won't be right. Honestly. Nah, I hate to say that too. Considering they're stuck on this older system that they can't, you know. It doesn't seem like they can actually truly polish. And here's the thing. A lot of of these newer well, I can't even say newer, the older ones are actually doing this too. Like uh WoW for example are making making it to where players can use like add-ons and stuff like that. Grand Fantasia doesn't have like an actual way for players to do such a thing. Like Guilds War 2 is also one of those things that lets you use add-ons. I'm pretty sure Neverwinter also has add-on support as well. And these are like the three I feel like main goats of like MMORPGs that are going on that I feel like <laughs> has that support and funny enough it I don't think Grand Fantasia can ever get support like that for add-ons hell they wouldn't even have enough people to do such a thing Here's another thing. I feel like um, developers of Grand Fantasia, they're. I was about to say, Bagel, did you get stuck? The developers of Grand Fantasia have already proven that they're very money hungry. They're they're gonna focus on wells, and they're not gonna focus on anything else. That's that's basically proven from everything else that I've seen so far.
I said, I haven't seen them, like, just do anything free to play friendly. I've talked about this inside of that video as well. Um, they are not generous at all. I would say Grand Fantasia is the least generous team out of, like, all X Legend games that I've seen. Like, in every last X Legend game right now, they would give you cosmetics left and right for free. Astro Tales, I pretty much played that and got, like, how many costumes within, like, just a few seconds of playing. I didn't really have to try for them. Not only that, they have a better support pack as well. And most X Legend, newer X Legend titles, I say those teams actually have like better teachings. Let's say that. At least the start off of it's better teaching. And more starter friendly. I don't see in any type of way of them revisiting. Grand Fantasia and, you know, actually doing something like that is just fixing it. Which sucks. Yes, it does. But I guess all we can do in this community is try and help each other out. If we really want this game to stay alive and, you know, continue to live. <laughs> I say the best thing at this point is all I can tell you guys, all the new players, join a guild. Just join a guild. Most guilds are willing to help you out. Most guilds are willing to teach as well. The only reason I'm not joining the guild right now is to give you guys the solo experience. It's a lot easier if you join a guild, not gonna lie to you. Because there'll be people who, who are willing to help you, willing to give you items if, you, if they don't need them. It's a lot easier that way because I know my guild for my druid actually helps me out if they have items that I need. Uh, you might not find a guild as lucky as that. But yeah, guilds, guilds would definitely tone down on, like, the stress. I will say that. I know a lot of people are basically anti-social. Anti so, all I can tell you is, hey, if you're, if you're not really that much of a social person, especially me, because I barely talk in a guild, unless I feel comfortable or need the help, I mean, it's just, you know, common things. But at this point, you, you can't really compare Grand Fantasia to it. any other game on the market now. Considering that it's, it has, it's so old. It is, it is definitely so old. I mean, I appreciate the gesture of them uh, trying to do a remake. I just didn't think it was going to be mobile based. Because that's what uh, Sprite Fantasia is. It's a mobile game. And that, that actually threw me for a loop when I, when I first seen it. Because I remember being very excited for it. Only to figure out that it's a mobile game. Always sucks to see, man. 
I say I like mobile games, but you you just can't just throw Grand Fantasia on a freaking mobile and expect people to enjoy it. I say you gotta do something crazy on mobile for people to just join that. And for so what I've seen so far is just like every other mobile MMO that I've seen. So personally, I don't, I hate saying this towards like developers I actually kind of like because I used to be like a huge, huge X Legend fan, but as I'm slowly seeing the signs of them changing to like more of a, more of a money hungry thing, the more I'm losing interest and it sucks. Sit on my pet first. Just makes more sense. Huh? Oh, my character attack. Wait a minute. How? Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. Whatever. Whatever, man. What, what the? I am clicking him. How the hell, character, do you? Okay, whatever, dude. Just had to deal with it. Uh, animations. But I'm curious to see, at this point, what they intend to do. Because if it starts, it, if it actually does start to get more pay to winish, I actually might just jump ship and just call that the last straw. Because they've already proven how how well heavy it's getting with the rewards of like. Okay, with the rewards of their little uh, shop now. These bonuses. All this crap is in-game stuff. <laughs> I'll say most of the stuff newer players aren't going to use at all. This is kind of why a lot of people enjoyed um, Area Games' way of doing it. Because Area Games both had like new newbie rewards and well, well newbie rewards and um, well rewards. I'll say there's no point of a newbie even touching that until like way late game. I'm pushing for. Can that just go off? Thank you. I don't know, man. 
At this point, it's, it just sounds like I'm complaining and rambling on. I guess I am. Oh shit, I chose the wrong thing. I just realized. You guys are probably yelling at me. It's like, dude, that's the wrong quest. Yeah. Yeah, I realize. My brain isn't working right now. Because I was just... I just had that on the brain after playing Astral Tales. And it just... <sighs> it's just... Mm... It made me think a lot. That's all I'm saying. It made me think a whole bunch. I'm just gonna go outside and restart it. It really depressed me when I thought about it too. Cause I was like, damn dude, I stuck with this game for how long now? And I just don't feel like it's gonna get any better. But I'm also at the same time interested to see what they do, considering that they're doing updates and stuff. The only issue is they aren't vocal or detailed about those updates. That's that's another thing that starts to piss me off too. I, they're giving us like reworks, but they're not talking about what the fuck changed in those reworks like normal developers would give you like full details of everything that changed no if and oh i can't even do this anyway right now okay it's a good thing i didn't reset the dungeon i have to redo this oh i did reset the dungeon duh oh well but anyway, but no like games would give you full details of everything that got changed, what this skill is now called, and what this skill now does. But X X Legend doesn't want to do that for some reason. I don't understand why, considering that's very useful information and details. I'm thinking to myself, maybe their website just won't allow that much. But it doesn't escape the fact that that's not a valid excuse considering they have a Discord. Where Discord will allow you to type as much as you want in much detail as you want. You can also make a blogging website that also gives the amount of details that also, you know, is required. It's just crazy to me that we're not getting towed like everything that changes. But then again, like I said, maybe I'm just bitching. You guys let me know if I'm just bitching over nothing. I mean, I feel like I am. Half of me is kind of over it. <laughs> I mean, it does escape the fact that half of... Well, I can't even say half. All of their games on Steam are mixed reviews. So I'm, I'm clearly not the only one feeling mixed about all of this right now. hit level 60 so I can get more skills that actually work up close please for the love of god give me more skills that work up close that was kind of one thing that a lot of rangers were hoping for is that we wouldn't have to worry about hey I'm in your face you can't do that now I said that would have been freaking great but no we're, we're still stuck to the 
in your face limit. Maybe there is more skills that let you just do all this. Oh my god, you actually stunned. I'm surprised. Good job. Come on, Bagel. We got a lot of enemies to re-kill. <laughs> on the bright side, it gives us extra XP. And I think I can say... Okay, no, I cannot save the bosses. Fuck. I gotta figure out a way to lose them. I don't... I think this works. I don't think I can stealth pass. Because a 50 50 of being detected makes no sense at all. Consider considering detection is very weird in this game. Like, either it's. It's 70% chance that they'll see you either way. So that 50-50 seems shit to me. <laughs> Alright, does not work on elite or bosses. Within okay, so yeah, this would that would be shit. I can't get away from that. I wanna say that boss. Do I have a, I think I have escape ability, don't I? I just don't have it on. It still doesn't make me happy that this stuff can't be used on bosses. You know, Sag, but you know, it, it makes sense, but half of my kit not being able to work on bosses is annoying. I mean, say at least give me some benefit of an interrupt on them casting, you know, that'd be cool. nothing in this room, like a key or anything. God, camera angle doesn't help in graphic Age either. Just because it's so awkwardly set up. Summon you, I kind of feel like I should have not have summoned you. <laughs> kind of regret that decision now. I 
actually. Idea. I can actually go past here. Because by the time I... I want to say by the time I get out... Or you die... Okay, stop. No dungeon aggro is like pretty long. That is so annoying. I know how the AI is, it's gonna try and path to me. It's gonna do like a hard pathing too. Okay, no, I didn't hard path. Thank God. I was about to say, I was spamming one. I was spamming four. Hello. Damn. These skills, they, they exist. My goddamn. Alright, the AI reset itself. Don't have to worry about that. I can always come back and get it as soon as I uh, level. The rest of them don't block the path. I can also come back to that. Oh, you don't count. Wait a minute. Is the next area boss? Don't fucking tell me. This is exactly what it is. The next boss is the final boss. It just skips over this boss. You son of a... That's annoying. That was what make, also makes uh, Panther great. I didn't even hit you. What the fuck? Hey, you guys just changed aggro altogether. Okay, then. I gotta remember that this game also likes to be stupid sometimes. And have my character attack attack just like that after just using that. God damn it, I hate that. I tried to move myself and stop it too. That's the sad part. Is I tried to stop the animation. It was just like, nah, dude. I'm good. <laughs> like damn, dude. Okay. What if I'm all the way right here, though? Oh my god, I still have to move in closer. <laughs> I just want to be, like, slightly out of range for any stupid basic attacks. Okay, and my character attacking through the wall. God damn it. Of course, because why not, you know? Why not? <laughs> Shit. Okay, I, I've been stopping. Using my weapon combo. Need to get back on that. Oh my god, you failure. You would fail it. 
You disappoint me. Just like a father who went out to get the milk, I, I, ju I just can't handle you now. I won't be back in the city. Until you get rich or something. God damn it. Okay, god damn it. Oh, misfortune, that's what's going on. I was sitting here like, wait a minute, why is this still not going? I didn't even know these enemies had misfortune. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Uh. You. Oh yeah, that um other mission. It seems that there's no guides for this because nobody's apparently hasn't done this. But then again, there's not many. Grand Fantasia content creators anymore. And from what I know, a lot of the Grand, Grand Fantasia players haven't even played half of the content in the game anyway. Like a good portion of the content has always been skipped. Is there anything in here? Okay, no. Oh, I gotta make sure if there's a key or something. Yeah, that or most of them just don't care. Here for the like content. Um, oh, this way. This way gives uh, more enemies an XP. I'm just gonna have to fight around some of the enemies. Say, give it like. What the hell? No, oh, I'm still too close because it's. We got. Height doesn't count towards a uh, distance. Which does suck. If you could aggro. This is another thing I don't like. I'm right clicking this dude. I can't right click him. This is why I say about Gravitages system being so wonky because I can click where he is but I cannot target onto him because of this statue this statue's blocking line of sight for me but the thing is I can tab target to him <laughs> I, I don't understand how you know what you're overthinking it stop stop thinking about it stop thinking about it just just stop thinking about it. That's, I think that's what I'm gonna learn while I'm playing this game is just, just don't think about it. Stop thinking about it. It's not important. From now on, I just won't think about it. know the saying it is what it is hey motherfucker it is what it is
I said that was an important message. No, it wasn't. And I'm gonna turn this on while I'm about to use silent shot. These will activate sooner or later if I just spam the key, right? It's not just a whole bunch of unfortunate events to where this just doesn't activate, right? Me just spamming it for like, I don't know how long. Kind of just want to always focus on you because you're, you're going to be the one who gives misfortune. Or was it these guys? I don't actually remember anymore. Okay, no. This dude. I say you put. Okay. You know what? Never mind. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. <laughs> oh god, I can't see. We're almost. We're almost next level. That's all I can think about. Just think about that. You're almost next level, dude. It's it's almost done. The suffering is almost over. It's gonna suck because I'm pretty sure this game is going to hoe me on XP. Oh yeah, because it's the big randomness now. It's gonna eat a lot less. Oh my god, somehow I target on a bagel. I keep trying to fix stuff up. You know, you know, you already don't have enough stuff. Enough space. What's going on here? What boss do we have? Let me guess, you guard the key? Yeah, you're guarding the key. God damn it. Not only that, you're a huge damage sponge as well. I think to myself, maybe we should clear this out first. Okay, how does that camera angle me? Are you ca changing camera angle because of this little rock here? Yes, you are. What the fuck?
Oh, there was only one enemy down at Hall? That's crazy. Yeah, I won't have enough. Damn it. I got to rerun this dungeon later. Ew. What the fuck? Where does this come from? I can turn this off. Apparently that's from a mission. I don't know what that mission is from. And I'm trying to click this guy. Okay, just tap target. I didn't even know there was an enemy right there. summon another panther well actually there's no point because like i said i've got to redo this again Ah, oh, this fucker has exhaust, of course. And he has a long distance exhaust. That's... Ah, oh, dude, it's gonna be so annoying. Because I'm pretty sure you can spam that right. Yeah, it's a long distance exhaust. Oh, that's so annoying. Stop trying to pick that up. Stop that. You stop what you're doing. I say give it like a few videos and maybe I'll uh, be sane again. <laughs> or more along the lines of... Excuse me. Maybe I'll have more sanity when I get to like... Level 61, maybe? When I get to my class change, I'll probably have more sanity. Because I'll probably have a lot more useful abilities. At least that's what I'm hoping and telling myself at this point. We always take three. Just in case. Especially for soloing. Oh yeah, another thing that I've realized that also makes me feel like the newer X Legend games are starting to become pay to win ish as well is the fact that any X points you have on Grand Fantasia do not transfer over to um, to Astral Tales. I saw because Astral Tales had says zero currency and I'm sitting here like so we're so this is what we're doing now it, it's crazy man now that's another reason why I'm not like too happy with what's going on right now get that first thought out of him okay now you can come after me Did that not hit you? What? Ah, 
How did that not hit you? That's another thing I hate, too. Anytime I use ability, my character turns all the way out of the fucking round. Okay, there we go. I guess I just gotta keep forgetting to hold left click. Oh, it becomes difficult to turn as soon as I do that. It's like my camera starts fighting me. Like, my camera starts fighting me for some reason as soon as I do that. What the fuck? Why are you fighting me? Okay, now he stepped on it that time. Thankfully, this one doesn't have any, like, far-ranged abilities. So I can actually kite him. that my bagel actually kept them distracted good job bagel proud of you so proud of you bagel you did your job well that has been um Holy King's Guardian. So that quest is done now. Wait, where? What do I turn this quest in? Actually, now I think about it. Because I have to come back here anyway. Oh, all the way over there. Shit. Damn it, that's so far. I have to redo this dungeon anyway, so, you know. Sadly, no capes for me, though. This, what am I still rocking? The green cape? Nah. Nah, it's blue. It would be an update to a cape, though. Maybe I should start waiting. I should just go to like a monster monster board and start waiting into like the quest is available for my level so I don't have to keep rerunning it. That seems like the appropriate thing to do. That didn't actually take as long as I thought it would. To be honest, it would have took a lot less time if I had to rerun, if I didn't have to rerun it. So probably like, I want to say 40 or so minutes is what the actual time would have been. Probably like 30 minutes, actually. So from now on, I'm just going to visit the monster board anytime like a new quest opens up. Learn what level I can do it at and we'll continue off that. Because I could be in a new area right now, and I could have probably gotten a level by then. Plus, you guys are also realizing that the dungeons are actually catching up to my level. This guy was level 60. Excuse me. And there was no point of changing my, uh... My bow back and forth, because... I wouldn't have had enough room to kite anyway. Because that, that boss was just as fast as me, which is not fun. I gave me one. Damn. Just one bar of XP, huh? 
I need to remind myself to come back. <laughs> And not, uh. I need to remind myself to come back to this dungeon so I don't miss the title of it. And I'll just show you guys the title next video. Hopefully, I don't level within that. But then again, something tells me I just might. Hmm. Ah. It's annoying, but I have to go back. I have to redo it, man. Damn it. Might as well redo it now, because I'm pretty sure I'll get enough XP to where I'll just level. Just by just, just redoing everything. Doing the same strat with the Scorpion that I did. So I'm going to leave it off there, and we're just going to count me as level 56, okay? <laughs> At the end of this video, I'm level 56, and I will skip towards the end of me, you know, doing that dungeon. And at the end of that dungeon, I'll just show you guys what the title does. So, uh, yeah, be right back.
done. That actually didn't take too long. Actually, that took a lot less time than um, the first run. So it was probably like up to 24 minutes? 24 to 25 minutes of that dungeon. Sell some stuff. Every little bit counts. I also want to know what's the next dungeon. The next dungeon is Ancient City, and that is available at level 60. So I shouldn't touch this into class change. Okay, so we have the title. Let's see. This one's all about cast speed. So if you're a mage and want this, or a healer, so cleric, this is also available. But um, yeah, I gotta go ahead and finally finish that mission, and we will head to our next destination, which is um, um, Misty Wetlands. So this area, then we'll be in this area next, then around that time we should be around job change, which will be sharpshooter, no, it's... oh yeah it is sharpshooter, which should be sharpshooter, then predator will be our uh, in game, but journey to sharpshooter is almost done. Then if I feel like to keep going out, keep going from that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's good to see that people are actually enjoying the series. I don't mind doing it at all. Because it's actually a new experience for me for playing a way squishier class. I am interested to see how Endgame is for this class. I don't think it's going to be fun to deal with, but you know, hey, <sighs> whatever happens, happens. But that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. And to then, peace out.